Right, nowadays a lot of clients have the need to do editing on their websites themselves and for that reason we are doing websites in a content management system. In our case we use Joomla and we use the JCE editor for them to edit their information. That's not important, all you have to do is follow the examples that I'm going to give you now. At the bottom of your website, I'm here on MMP Online, our own website, you will see there's an admin login. You can just click on that and then log into your website. Put in username and passwords that we will provide to you. And once you are logged into the website, you can actually click on any of the pages. I'll click on social media in this case. And then next to on that page at the top, once it appears, you will see a little button that says edit article, which is normally not there, obviously, for the client. So if I click on edit article, you will see that it will actually open the page in the editor. Sorry, I think I missed that. Let's just try it again. Right, and now I can, you will see the article appears and it will actually show you a toolbar at the top that's got all the different editing features that you might need to use. In other words, let's say I want to make something bold, I'll go for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, in this case, I want to make it bold, I'll just click on the bold, as I do in any editor, and it will actually, when I save the document, the text will be bold, and very important, it will be shown like that, to the whole of the world. It will also say that the article is saved successfully and there you can see the text has been bolded. So I can go back onto the editor and I can make any other changes that I want to. In a lot of cases obviously people want to add pictures and to make the website nice similar to these pictures or um, icons that I've added in here. Let's add a picture. I'm just going to add, add it here next to social media. So you cl click whenever you want to add it. And here you will see on the last toolbar close to the right, there's one that says insert image or edit image. If I click on that image, I would be able to select the different images. What it actually does now, it opens on the server and shows all the images that lies on the server of your website. In our case, we use one server for all our websites. Uh, and there you will have different pictures that you can add. And if there's not a, if the picture doesn't reside on the server yet, you can upload it by clicking on the Upload button on the right-hand side. I'm just clicking on that, and I'm going to choose Browse, or I can drag and drop it from uh, Internet Explorer and drop it here. But in this case, let's go for Browse, and then I can pick a picture. I know this picture is on the server already, but just for the purpose of this uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to choose the bronze medal and say open. Remember, if it's on the server already, it will overwrite it with a new picture. Now it actually shows that the bronze medal is ready to upload, and I can browse another picture and another and another. Just make sure that the size of these pictures are not too large, and in another tutorial I will give you a very handy tool that you can use to resize pictures before uploading to the server. If the ser picture is too big going to the server, it might reject it completely to upload it, or if it uploads it, it might be very slow for your viewers of your website to see that picture appear which you don't want. The quicker the, pic the website, the better for you. So I'm going to say upload and now it was actually busy copying this picture from my local computer onto the server. Okay, so here is my picture on the server now. Now I can actually browse for that picture. It's called bronze metal in this case. If I click on the picture, it will actually show the URL here on the, on the top here to show that I'm going to use this picture. It also shows the size of the picture. I can change it here, even the proportions of the picture, but I can also change it in the document I'll show you just now. Very important, you can also set the alignment of the picture. I can set it to the left, and on the right here you will see the picture will now be on the left of the text, or it, I can set it to the right, and it will be on the right-hand side of the text. If I leave it not set, then obviously it will be on the top of the text. And there's some other options, you can just play around with it. For the purpose of the demonstration, I'll put it on the left. And then you can also put a margin. You will see this text appears very close to the picture. So if I to put in a margin here of, say, 10 pixels, you will now see that there is a space around the text so that you can see the picture clearer. If you don't want the text to or the border to be the margin to be all around in all the places, you can take off equal values and then change the settings the way you want to. 
you can also put in an alternative text for the picture and that is very important because the search engines will read that text so if it's informative about your website or about the photo that you've put on the website put in an alternative te text there it will just be good for the search engines to pick up your information once I'm happy I can just say insert and it will actually insert the picture into the document there I've got the picture inserted now and as I said I can re resize it here and I can actually move it around the way I want it to different places if I move it to the right it will jump to the left because it's been set to, uh, initially to be on the left if I want to make a change to it again I can just click on insert and edit also the right mouse on the picture will give you that option and here you will be able to make the changes to the picture again and that way you can put in any picture into your website as I said just make sure that the sizes are reasonable once I've got the picture in and I've got it saved um, I'm just gonna cancel this because it's in already I just click on save again after save the document and then the picture will appear the way it will say that it's saved the article and the picture will appear where it needs to appear it's as simple as that Enjoy!